One great example of uh, working in civic engagement and denizen engagement, I guess, is uh, our spring block program. It's a field intensive practicum of four clustered classes. And it's all that anyone is doing. Nobody has any other classes. So it's a fabulous formula uh, to enable a thoroughgoing kind of student engagement. It, um, it's a unique kind of teaching setting that uh, schools of education don't address, teaching outside. Um, our students are, end up being comfortable teaching outside, understanding a bit about group management outside. But again, it, I think lights the fire. Uh, this is what they've been passionate about. This is what connects with their sense of an ethical calling. Our students like nature, but they also do like people. And that's a great strength to bring those together and help them realize how they can move their learners along further and learn themselves in the process. In my career, I actually have been long interested in civic engagement and the whole idea of what we do at the university being invested in the community. And also in having what we do in the classroom make sense outside the classroom. The more we can engage with our community, the more uh, enriched the experiences for the students. Given the state of higher education today, I think it's really important that people in the surrounding communities understand how valuable what we do up here on the hill is. And so that just the more we interact with people in the community, I think it really helps get away from that sense of we're up here on the hill and we're somehow disengaged or we're not involved in uh, what our communities face. Students are engaged in the real world. They are living real lives and in ha having real issues. Um, on the other hand, there is a big difference between doing a project as a classroom project that doesn't go beyond the class and only pro the professor sees in grades and doing something in which you work with a community partner to assess their needs and to meet their needs and to try to figure out a way you can craft a message to reach their audience in a way that's meaningful. It's just a com it just takes what we're learning and doing in the classroom to a completely different place and one that I feel is really enriched. I was a student on a Knowles course right after I graduated college and that really inspired me to want to be an outdoor educator and to work in that type of field where you get to provide these intensive educational experiences for people and part of it is about them going out into a new environment in this really intense experience with a group of people and learning about themselves, their character building um, experiences, but they're also experiences to learn skills. So there's all these different pieces and so you're really like inundated with a lot of information, but because it's such a transformational space, like people learn so much stuff both about themselves and all these new skills. So when I started at Western this year and I was given the teaching assignment of teaching biometrics, which is biostatistics, I wanted to do something that I thought would be an authentic experience for the students that would inspire them to actually learn statistics. I couldn't imagine myself standing up in front of the classroom at the blackboard just writing down equations and having students copy them. I know from my experience as an undergraduate, that didn't work for me. I didn't learn statistics that way. I might have gotten an A in my class, but you know, a year later I didn't remember anything. And I wanted to make this an experience that the students not, not only just remembered the experience and had a positive experience interacting with the community, but they also remembered their course content. And the more authentic an experience a student has with a project, the more likely it is that they're going to remember the content from the course as well. Thank you.